Here we go then. So it's eight key questions that any property investor should ask a property sourcer. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, and these are some of the, you know, the key questions we get asked all the time. So then Adam, that house you sourced me, will it rent for that amount? Yeah, so generally speaking, yes. We put a 50 uh, pounds per month spread on the rental estimation because we know the market can fluctuate. Mm -hmm. And nine times out of 10, it rents for the higher end or at least the middle of the estimation. Sometimes it'll rent for slightly more, depending on what the market is doing. Right now, and, today, you know, we're not going to time the video, keep it evergreen, as they say. Exactly. But generally speaking, rents are going yeah, one way. Rents are going up. Yeah, there's always a strong demand for rental property, pretty much anyway. Even the parts of the country where we're not operational, we know there's a strong rental demand for property, you know? Yeah, yeah. We, 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 when we're finding a house, sourcing a house, whether or not it will rent and whether there's good demand in the area is one of the key considerations. It's one of the fears, there are some key fears that a landlord would have, having an empty property they just can't rent out. Never seen one of them. Never found a house that you just can't rent out. Yeah. Of course, it will always rent we out put at together, price. We put together a detailed comparable report. That's the key. Utilising right move plus data as well. So there is that to back it up. Yeah. And you know, you can go on the portals yourself and have a look at what's renting in that area. Don't get me wrong, every now and again, there'll be a house that goes over to the lettings team and has you know, a couple of fall throughs. Fall throughs happen. On the, on the letting side, the, the potential tenants told a few white lies, fibs about their income or mm. previous credit history, CCJ. So a house could take a little bit longer to rent than normal. Yeah, often and then, not affecting the amount, just affecting the length of time it'll take, the, the void. Yeah, and then very, the very few and get twitching, so should we drop the rent? And we say no at that point, don't, don't worry. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, generally speaking, yes. The straight answer is yes. Renting a house, they generally achieve we put a guide on it, the amount that we say. There's always an anomaly. And there's also, you've got to say this, in a world where things go up and down, of course, things can go down. You know, can the rent level in, in, in an area go down? Of course, it absolutely could. I've never seen that. No. I've never seen that. I've, I've seen static rent levels. And I've seen rents where to get something gone quick, you'd knock. And you'd be very surprised at how price sensitive um, it can be. 20, 30 pounds can make all the difference between, you know, virtually no inquiries and gone in a couple of days. But yeah, that's a affirmative. There we go. Bye for now. Cheers.